Hi y'all, it's Sarah Buck again. Uh, so today we're gonna be talking about Nam June's uh, movie that just came out, talking about his latest album, Right Person, Wrong Place. I uh, went to the movies and yesterday actually and um, watched it. And they gave you, they gave me this. They gave me this little poster and this little sticker. I hope you can see it, it's super cute. It looks like you can place it here. I haven't done that because I think I want to place it somewhere else. It looks like a sticker at least, it's super cute. Um, when I went to see Yoongi's uh, or Suga's like sub movie that they did in the recent theaters, they also gave me something as well. Um, and then this is a little ticket that I bought that I went to see. And obviously when I have the album here. Um, so this, I went yesterday to just celebrate for, um, you know, the album release and all that stuff. And I was really curious to see the process and how different it was gonna be for him. Cause he, you know, he's used to a specific way of doing things, especially with BTS. And it actually was very insightful to, to hear from him directly and from the people that he worked with as well uh, about his struggle when it came to like getting used to a different process. Like he talked about it and like many times in the um, in the movie. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it because if you really like this album or like if you're curious, I would suggest to go watch it. It is limited run. So I, it doesn't they didn't say exactly how long it's gonna be uh, in theaters, but I'm gonna assume maybe like a few more, maybe two through uh, two more weeks, maybe less. Uh, when it comes to BTS's stuff that they're releasing movies in theaters, it don't it doesn't last too long. It's there for maybe a month at most, from what I noticed. Some some last longer than others, but um, but there is that. So uh. I was really interested to see because I really love this album. This album's really, really great. And I wanted to see, you know, what moments they decide to add to the like overall part of it. And I also heard that he had it came from his mouth that he had lived with the um person uh with the photographer, not photographer, the yeah, the person that was the director, there we go. That was doing the behind the scenes stuff or the docu documentary he had lived with him for a year and you know to do all the process it was fun to see uh the way everybody else was like talking about him and not about namjoon and his like struggle to adjust to different to different ways of doing things because he was so used to doing a specific things to do in a specific way i mean he was doing quite a lot of writing and producing stuff with bts for such a long time for about 10 years that you know he got used to a specific way of doing things so it was, it was nice to see uh namjoon trying a different process and stuff and i'm not going to talk too much about the movie i'm just you know talking giving you my opinion and my uh, uh what's it called um uh, you know what i took out of the from the, the docuseries i definitely would recommend if I, for the armies that you know have been listening to bts for a long time are uh know and are aware that he used to go namjoon used to go on live right as soon as the like album that they dropped uh and he would go on live and talk about the process and how excited he was about talking about certain songs that he did and how the process was for him or like how he came up with certain lyrics or a certain melody or whatever it was and so i was excited to see this uh <laughs> in part of the docu series the documentary i don't know why i keep saying docu series but in part of the documentary they were filming because like he's used to such a big scale things now you know how how it is when when it comes to bts is such big scale they were filming for like uh for one of the videos so uh rm released quite a few videos for almost every single song we actually just got released a video for what was it all around the world in one day i think i think that's the one we just got released like a video too um like a music video too and so like they were filming certain aspects of like specific um 
uh, videos or MVs and it was out in public and you know they hadn't closed up any area so people were coming in and out of the certain uh, shots that he was taking and and you can see in his face how embarrassed he was like to to see you know for people to see him acting random <laughs> in front of a camera and like having people walk he was so he was super awkward in certain parts and i like seeing that because it's, it puts you know it makes them human because like a lot of us would act the same way we act really awkward when or not know what to do with yourself when like you know you're you're making a video and someone's just walking by looking at you like what the hell you know kind of situation so that was one of the things i enjoyed i also enjoyed the kind of like friendship and camaraderie that would be the word uh that he created with the team that he was working with their team nam june team rm as they keep calling themselves uh that was such a nice or a fun thing to see because it looks like you know he was he was tense for for quite a few days um but like as time went he relaxed it looked like they were like making jokes and just having fun and i like that because it's you know music is art and sometimes you to create good art you want to have fun uh sometimes you know torture art is is hard to digest and honestly this this album had quite a lot of his um things that he always wanted to say that's like has been held inside him i mean being in the industry for 10 years plus it's there is always a lot like in Lost, you know, we, we got to see the inside of Namjoon's brain and stuff. So it, this album in general is really great. And so these are like just my thoughts on the actual, you know, docuseries and stuff. And it, not docuseries, I keep saying that, uh, uh, not docuseries, um, movie or documentary. Uh, I definitely would suggest to watch it uh, just because I really liked the way that they did it. It's pretty artistic for sure uh it did win they released it and um they first released in korean film festival and it won an award i was really happy for him uh and for you know the person that filmed and edited it and did all that stuff that they wanted an award for and you know this album's been pretty good it's actually um i after i listened to it you know for quite some time because we've had this album for about a year now i think uh i think it's been a year now maybe less it's been some some it's been some time now that we've had this particular album feels like we had a little while longer um i am recently i've been obsessed with all around the world in a day that song kind of sneaked sneaked up on me like i was like really obsessed with growing and nuts and come back to me and stuff but like I was listening to all around the world one day and i was like oh my gosh why haven't i given this song more, more listen to and i i love the songs like one of my favorite songs to listen to um this album's general is really great uh, and that's that's all i want to talk about to like you know say a little bit of my experience in that particular um you know movies and stuff when i went to see it it was like a 4 30 showing so it was only three other people and me so it was only four people in the theater where i went to see it um which was surprising but it might have been because it was 4 30 uh in the afternoon and maybe the 7 um 7 p.m showing might be more crowded but i don't know this was my first time being in this particular theater so i don't know how how crazy crowded it gets but i was really happy that i got to see it because i didn't get to see cookies or chunk cooks oh my gosh why does it keep turning off i'm gonna go see the lights hold on uh this light keeps turning off turn on it's connected i'm gonna leave it like that it's fine it's whatever <laughs> I just want to uh, finish my train of thought here. I didn't get to see Trump Cooks. Uh, I'm still in theaters. Uh, I just didn't get the chance to, and it looks like it was so emotional. Um, 
I heard that the, it's being released or it's already in Disney Plus, so I really want to watch that. I'm excited to to watch it and see, you know, what people were talking about in that particular um, documentary. I always like it when because you know they're all in the military and didn't get a chance to promote certain projects and talk about certain projects more freely. Uh, these documentaries have been such a, a wonderful gift for them to leave us, to, for us to see the process. Just because a lot of Army, if you, if you don't know, um, a lot of times they would love to talk about you know, the projects they were working on and how it went through and all the process. So it's one of the things I always look forward to whenever they release a new project is to see uh, and to hear about the process and how it was for them and how they did certain things. So I'm really happy and grateful that they, they did uh, documentaries for each of the albums that they've released when they've been in the military. And that's pretty much all I had to say. Oops, I keep breaking things. And that's pretty much all I had to say. I'm gonna make sure that I didn't break anything in here and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye.